I think a lot of that had to do with media. Hey everyone, my name is Lacey, AKA Phenomenal. I'm 30 something. <laughs> and I'm from, I say I'm from everywhere, but I'm from the States. What myth did you grow up believing? Man, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I think the biggest one is that I was inferior. You know, I wasn't good enough. I think a lot of that had to do with media and the messages that I was kind of given growing up in America, um, specifically around, you know, hair and complexion. Um, and it's a huge myth because I've learned to embrace my self, how I look, um, what I think, what I, um, how I feel. Um, so when it comes to myths, the inferiority myth, the myth of not being beautiful enough, the myth of not being smart enough, the, the myth of not being enough. I'm torn, I have a show that I wrote called Phenomenal Everywhere. That I would use my presence, my big, loud strength to help people. Themselves. And the reason why I wrote this show is because I felt like there are too many messages that say, uh, specifically to black people, that they are, you know, inferior. <laughs> and so part of this show was really about uh, me embracing myself as I travel around the world as autobiographical. But I also want people to understand that everywhere we go on the planet, when you dig up the roots, they're often black. The first person on the planet was a black woman. And so that's really imperative to know because if that is a fact, if that's a scientific fact, there is no way that um, I can be inferior. There's no way that I could be um, not enough. In fact, I am the parent of humanity, so how is that possible? Um, so that's what I, I grew up I, I grew up learning, which was, I was inferior, and that's completely a myth, and that's why I actually wrote my story, Phenomenal Everywhere, which is about uh, a brown girl like myself traveling the world and learning more about who she is as she uh, embraces her experiences. That's what I learned. Thank you. <laughs>